Hey there all you PC Hacker 11 people, it's Nick here, and in today's video I'm going to bring you guys another Photoshop tutorial. In today's video I'm going to show you guys how you can make your very own planets inside of Adobe Photoshop. Now I'm not going to show you guys how to make a really advanced planet, I'm just going to show you guys how to make sort of a basic looking planet inside of Photoshop. So anyway, what you're going to be getting out of this tutorial is you're going to be getting a planet that looks like this one right here. So it's going to be looking like a little bit of a gassy sort of planet with a little bit of an ellipse in the background. So anyway, you're going to be getting a planet that looks like these and I'm actually going to create a series of tutorials which is going to go ahead and make it so you get a picture that looks sort of like this right here. But anyway, today's video I'm just going to show you guys how to make a planet that looks like this. So anyway, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. So you can use any version of Adobe Photoshop to go ahead and get this done, but for this video I'm going to be using Adobe Photoshop version CS5. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we want to do is go to File, go to New, Create a new document, any length or any dimensions that you want to. I'm going to be using 500 by 500 for this video, just so we can go ahead and create the planet. Then I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and I'm going to make sure my background is black. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to my background layer. I'm going to double click on it and click OK to unlock it. And then I'm going to go and create a new layer. Uh, sorry, new layer, and then I'm going to go grab my elliptical marquee tool. I'm going to hold down the shift key and create an elliptical marquee to around there. And then once we're done, make sure your foreground color is on white. Then you want to right click on there with the elliptical marquee tool still selected. Then you want to go to stroke. Make the stroke 5 pixels with the color of white and make sure it's set to outside. And then make sure blending is set to mode normal and opacity 100%. Go ahead and click OK and you should get something that looks like this right here. Now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and select a new layer and then go here and grab your gradient tool. Once in there, go ahead and select the gradient for the planet that you want to make. So for this video, I'm going to be making an orange planet. I'm going to do a little bit of a combination between a dark orange and a light orange. So with this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select sort of a yellowish light orange color. Then for the darker layer, I'm going to select sort of a darker orange color to make it have a gradient that looks a little bit like this. Then I'm just going to click OK. And I'm going to make sure the gradient is set to radial. And then I'm going to go hold down Shift and I'm going to click and drag to make something that looks like that. Now I'm going to create another new layer and I'm going to hold down Shift with the gradient tool and make another gradient up here at the top right here. Now once that's done, go ahead and make sure your foreground color is set to black and a background color is set to white. Then you want to go to Filter. You want to go to Render, and then you want to go to Clouds. Once that's done, just go to Filter, go to Render, and then go to Different Clouds. Then hold down Control and F to go ahead and select the clouds which you want to look as the clouds within your planet. So I will choose, let's say, these ones right here. Once that's done, you want to go here to the Blending Mode on Layer 3, and then you want to go ahead and change it to either Overlay or Soft Light. Anyone will do. I'll choose Soft Light, and it will look like this right here. Bear in mind, you can also go ahead and still change around the clouds effects to make it look any way you want to. So let's just say I want that one right there. Now the last thing you want to do is select your Elliptical Marquee Tool again. Go to another new layer, right-click, Fill, and then make sure you fill it in white. Then just click OK, and then it'll fill it in white. Then press Control and D to deselect the layer and grab your eraser tool. And then you want to go ahead and change the size of your eraser to one of these brushes right here, the soft, the ones with soft edges. Then you want to just make an eraser that's fairly big. So about right there. So let me just undo that. Now you want to go down to your layers, and you actually want to go ahead and hide all of the layers except for this one right here. Then you want to start erasing. So I'm going to start just erasing some of the edges of the circle until you get the edge which you want you to reflect off of your planet. So that's good. Then you can go ahead and show these two layers, and then you can go ahead and show the layer with the white on it. Then just start erasing the white until you can go ahead and do this. Now you want to erase as close to the edge as you possibly can with keeping the white there. So I'll just do this. And then up at the top you want to keep some white just to go ahead and reflect. And then boom, there you go. As you notice you have a planet. So let me just do that. So now, as you notice, you have a planet. Now, it actually is a really good looking planet. It looks sort of like a gas planet. So, it's sort of like a mini Jupiter that we just created. So, now what you want to do is you want to go down to your background layer and hide it. Then, you want to just go to layer and where's merge visible? Uh, you just want to go here to layer, 
merge visible, which will merge everything visible to one layer right here. So as you notice, we can move the planet around. And then there you go, you have your planet. Now you can go ahead and save your planet. So to save the planet, I would go ahead and hide the background layer. Then I'd go to File, Save As. I'll name it uh, Orange and Yellow Planet. Planet. Uh, sorry. And then I would go ahead to the format, and I would save it as a... Uh, let me just drag it up here. I would go to the format, and I would save it as a PNG image. So that way it will have the background on it. So once it's done saving, it should come up to the desktop, so right here. And then this is our planet that we made. And so then you can go ahead and just import something into Photoshop. So let's say I import my uh, system of planets here, which I am going to just close out of. So now that you have your planet saved, you can just go ahead and import it into Photoshop. So let's say I just drag my system of planets in. So this right here. And then I'll go ahead and... Oh, I won't browse and bridge. Sorry for that, guys. Uh, I'll go to Open and I'll open up the planet that we just made. So orange and yellow planet. And it will open that up and then we can just go ahead and drag it in. Then as you notice, we have another planet in our solar system. And so anyway, this is actually key to going ahead and making planets for your solar system. I'm sorry for my Adobe bridge opening up. So let me just close out of that. And so yeah, so basically you can drag the planet in and then you can go ahead and make it throughout the rest of your whole entire picture. And anyway, that's how you go ahead and create your own simple little planet inside of Adobe Photoshop. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this video helped you guys. And anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Tune in and watch more videos on PC Hacker 11. And if you guys want to watch more videos from me, feel free to go ahead and check out my personal YouTube channel at youtube.com slash A1102-1085. I know it's a mouthful, but you guys can remember it. So yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.